Okay, um, today we're going to be working on a smart board presentation to do some sample problems and this first set is going to be sample problems about working with molds and so hang with me there's going to be windows popping up for the calculator and for the periodic table um, so we'll be working in this white space plus these pieces of information will be popping up. The periodic table that we'll be using in these problems is the same one that's online. It's an interactive periodic table so that if you touch an element, um, it'll come up with the atomic number and the atomic weight. Um, you will notice that this periodic table gives the values to three decimal places. Uh, some periodic tables will round those off to two decimal places. Uh, in fact, one of the periodic tables we use in some of the interactive problems that you'll be doing, um, the samples are rounded off to the second place. Um, this periodic table, I'm going to use the samples today, taking them out to the third place as this periodic table does. You can use either one, just be aware that the, the rounded off numbers will be slightly different than the numbers that go to three places. So that out of the way, let's look at uh, working with molds and we're going to start with individual elements. And the first individual element we're going to look at is magnesium. Chemical symbol Mg. So our question is, what is the gram atomic weight? Here's your periodic table. Here we see magnesium. We touch it, it comes up as having the weight 24.305. 305 gram atomic weight. This is the weight in grams of one mole of magnesium. Okay. What about phosphorus? Get our periodic table, we find phosphorus as atomic, gram atomic mass of 30.947 grams. Okay, so one mole of phosphorus is equal to 30.947 grams. Okay, so then what would be the weight of three moles of calcium. Right. Calcium. So we need to call up the periodic table and find what the weight of one mole would be. Okay, here we have calcium. The A, the so we see the weight of one mole is equal to 40.078 grams. So for three moles, we take the 40.078 grams 
per mole times 3 is equal to 120.234 grams. Now we've been doing things by proportion, so if you don't just see that it's just times 3, you could say 40.078 grams is to 1 mole as how many grams are there to 3 moles, right? So we do the cross multiplication thing, so we get 40.07 40.078 grams times 3 moles is equal, equal to how many grams times 1 mole. So we rewrite that and divide both sides by 1 mole. Okay, so here's another problem. What is the weight of 250 millimoles of sulfur chemical symbol S? Okay, so let's call it the periodic table. Look at the chemical symbol S, and we see that the atomic mass for sulfur is 32.065. So S. 32.065 grams per mole. Now, there are 1,000 millimoles per one mole. There's that um, metric system, the milli, right, meaning one thousandth. So there are one thousand millimoles per one mole. So if we say 32.065 grams per one thousand millimole is equal to how many grams per 250 millimole. So we just replaced one mole right, with 1,000 millimole. So we keep these in the same unit. So now we can solve this by our cross multiplication. So we can say 32.065 grams times 250 millimole right, is equal to how many grams times 1,000 millimoles. So we can divide both sides by 1,000 millimoles, 32.065 grams times 250 millimoles divided by 1,000 millimoles is equal to our unknown grams. Okay, so the units are canceled and we have 250 divided by 1,000, so this simplifies to 32.065 grams times 0 0.25 is equal to our unknown grams, right, and that becomes 
8.016 grams is equal to 250 millimoles of sulfur. So, with individual elements, it's a matter of keeping track of your units and finding on the periodic table that individual element. Now we're going to look at some molecules. So, the molecular weight is equal to the sum of all the atomic weights of the elements in the molecule. Okay. So, Let's look at an example. Let's find one mole of calcium chloride. So, one, let's identify the element. Calcium and chloride. And let's say there's one atom of calcium and there's two atoms of chlorine. Okay. So, now, 2 will go to the periodic table, and we'll find out that come on, calcium. Calcium, whoops. Okay, let's try that again. Let's see if the periodic table behaves. Here we've got calcium, which is 40.078 grams per mole and chlorine and chlorine which is 35.453 grams per mole. So let's put those here. Forty point zero seven eight grams and thirty five point four five three grams. Okay, and now we're going to multiply by the number of atoms for each element. So for calcium, that's one. For chlorine, that's two. So that's the third thing we're going to do. And so we're going to get. 40.078 grams for calcium and 70.906 grams for chlorine. In the fourth step, we're going to sum those up and get 110.984 grams. So, four. Calcium chloride, the weight of one mole of is equal to 110.984 grams, or 110.984 grams per mole. That's for calcium chloride. Now, let's determine what is 100 millimoles of sodium chloride. Right? What is the weight of 100 millimoles of calcium chloride? Chloride. All right. So the formula is NaCl. So we identify the atoms of the element. Mm -hmm. right. We have one of each. So we need to find the mass. So let's cross our fingers on this periodic table. Oh, well, chlorine is still up there. So it's still 35.453. Here, sodium is 22.990. 
right? And now we'll multiply those by how many? So there's just one of each, so that makes easy math. That's 22.990 grams and 35.453 grams. So that comes out the molecular weight of sodium chloride, 58.443 grams for one mole. Okay, so how about 100 millimoles? Okay, so remember there are 1,000 millimoles in one mole. Okay, so if the if there are 58.443 grams per mole, right? And we're going to we're going to express that. I get my pen going again, right? As one thousand millimoles. Or how many grams in 100 millimoles? So this is our cross multiplication divide deal. So it's 58.443 grams times 100 millimoles is equal to how many grams times 1,000 millimoles? Okay, so if we bring and divide both sides by that, the 1,000 is going to just cancel out of that side. That's supposed to be grams. And we can uh, times 100 millimoles divided by 1,000 millimoles is equal to how many grams? Right. Again, the millimoles are going to cancel out. 100 over 1,000 is 0 0.1, so that's 58.44 grams times 0 0.1 is equal to 5.84 grams. in 100 millimoles of sodium chloride. So there are some practice problems, some um, 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 notion on the uh, strategy for um, working on problems dealing with moles. In the next session, um, we're going to deal with molarity. So, you know, follow through this video, work some sample problems. There's also um, a kind of interactive uh, tutorial on these kinds of problems. So, you know, the way you're going to hang it is, I keep saying this, it's just to work problems so you get used to it. Um, uh, thanks and uh, watch the session on molarity.